all right guys welcome back to another video with kinter and python 3 in this video i'll be showing about how to create a simple registration form without any backend work just a simple registration form which will look genuine in real and can be used in the future for any database connectivity and yeah that's that's pretty much it can do so it will be something like this is the code and I'll just run and show you so this is the form yeah, it, it looks pretty dope but not with the backend it doesn't have any backend options so it is just a simple GUI it doesn't do anything except typing in and things this is the checkbox and radio buttons this is the list box and this is the checkbox yeah when python this is the button it's pretty simple these are labels these are text fields the labels text field this is the another label and these are radio buttons and this in this is not a label for the list pop-up you can select one and it will just stay over there and this is the checkbox and this is the button that's it for the GUI and now I'll just will jump onto the code so as usual this is not the kinder import this is the kinder object root this is the geometry provided and this is the registration form title same now this is the label which is over here I'll show you okay that's good that's pretty good so this label is over here this is the registration form registration form you can provide various fonts width and etc then this is the label for name full name same for we are just placing it over here and same for the label email then same for gender and we are just taking another variable for storing input as an integer integer variable so these are the radio buttons uh, this is the method for radio buttons root linking it with the kinder object placing it and yep this is the variable input for radio buttons like we usually do in a text field same for radio buttons so this is for radio buttons these are labels for country list sorry this is the label for country and select country so this is the list within which we have written various options to pop up in the list so these are the list and which have been provided over here C is the string variable which are created for select the country for the list option it is a variable for this and just drop it over here a down list and yeah that's pretty good and label for programming which option java and python placing it over here check buttons providing it with a check buttons and placing it same mm, for even check buttons we need to create for we need to create a string variable or integer variable depending upon the type of the option you provide over there and yep that's good and this is the button created placing it over there and running the main loop what is the main loop? It is root on Kitty, but it still runs. I just don't know.
here so guys this is it for the registration form i'll just show you the code again enter labels various radio buttons and drop down list and check buttons radio buttons then providing each variable for the string input which we are providing over here these are for holding the inputs check buttons and even for the drop down list select country and yeah that's for button and this is the code pretty good yeah so on the basis of this now i've just created a simple gui but in the later on videos i'll just show you how to provide the connectivity with the database for each of these options for full name email gender country programming and when i sub click on this button submit what it will do is that it will just store this all this uh, options into a database and we'll just um, create another simple GUI to display what I've stored into the database a simple in a simple manner yeah you can also do it in a more simpler way but I'll just show you in a more GUI way what that's what we are doing right Kinder so it should be done like that so in the later on videos I'll be teaching you about how to create a database for this form and providing inserting into a table and etc etc so stay tuned for it guys and thanks for watching talk to guys in the next one